Hi guys and welcome to today's video. I don't know if you noticed by the previous video, but I'm trying to improve my content. So if you have any critique, let me know. By the way, as I'm looking in the mirror right here, I know for sure that this sweater is not going to work that much in the video, but hang on there baby, I'm sorry. My plan is to have an informational video out on each Friday and have a forgotten or old school workout on Wednesday. So I'm sorry I missed out on a day. I'm so sorry. I was so busy. I'm just trying to get the ball rolling and from this week on it's all going to be just fine. Today we're going to talk about an old school workout and I know for sure that it is an old school workout because it's from the 19th, 19th century. Wow, that's really 19th. My Dutch lips won't say that word. <laughs> Anyways, you know him. We all know him. He's like one of the strongest men ever because he still has records that stand till this day, which is pretty freaking impressive. He was born in 1867. His first name is George. He was born in Philadelphia. You know who it is. Jaw, 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 <laughs> ja. <laughs> not Joshua. <laughs> George Zatman from the Zatman Curls, an exercise that will target each and every aspect of your freaking biceps. Here you got the biceps, here you got the brachially. The brachially is the muscle that pushes your biceps out and is the strongest part of your freaking biceps. Two of the functions of your biceps is flexion at the elbow. So decreasing the angle of this joint, you can say to sound very cool or just bringing the forearm towards the upper arm, whatever you want to say. That's one of the things. The other things is supernation of your hand. How am I going to remember that? Well, you're turning your hand up as if you're ready to receive a bowl of soup. It's just that easy alrighty so which exercise would he came up with that would target all these things so so effectively by the way so he used to did, do this with 50 dumbbell 50 pound dumbbells which is uh, it's, it's it's crazy it's crazy that is crazy that is something though anyways so it's a very simple exercise. You start off with your hands in a supernated position. So your palms is facing forward, you know, ready to receive a bowl of soup. You lift the weights up till you're well, all the way up. Here you turn the thing around, the dumbbell, and then you lower the weight back down. This will target your biceps, your brachialis, and your lower arms. Well, mostly this upper part, the brachialis, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to mention all those weird names. Upper arm, a lower arm, this part, biceps, this part. That's it. That's all you gotta know. That's what you're going to be targeting with this exercise. And it's amazing. Give it a shot. Let me know what you felt or what you think of this workout. Um, of course, with each and every curling workout, you would want to have your feet around shoulder width apart and do not lock your knees. You kind of want soft, bouncy knees. Guys, I hope you liked today's video. Next video on, on forgotten of oral school workouts is going to be the cross bench uh, pullover. Uh, next informational video is going to be about how I taught myself how to do front squats with weak wrists without fixing them. Interesting, right? Um, so that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video, of course. Um, I love you all. Peace, love and muscles and see you guys in the next one. Bye.